my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel and another month of Smash That Small Paper Pad, a collaboration hosted by Deb Houck of Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage. I am finishing up my rose paper pad, six by six, all different colors but the same design. And so let me show you what I made. I had done about three as of last month and so I wanted to show you these first two and I think the third one is here so these are the three that I got done but of course that wasn't the whole paper pad and so I wanted to finish up this month with the roses so these these were left over for my wedding album, and so I wanted to use them. I believe in you. This is from my Crafty Ola kit. You're amazing. And the rose stamp is right here. Uh, this is one of them. This was from St a Stupendous set. And so, of course, I used my Nouveau Drops. And then I started using all the little bits and pieces. I went ahead and used my Stampin' Up tr uh, punch to make the flags. And I used Nouveau Drops. And these I just got from Amazon the other day. Tons of beautiful colors. Roses. So I stuck one of those on here. And then I used two of the roses here. You've been on my mind and in my heart. This die here is from a Crafty Ola kit. And a thank you. And I'm not sure where this die came from. But I did the rose in white glitter paper. And again, I stamped this rose. And happy of, of birthdays to you. That's from a Stepping Up Picture Perfect birthday, I believe. And I made more flags. Happy birthday. That's from the, the stamp set that has the, they're all in a row like that, and then you cut them out with that special die, which I can't find. I think I used it once to show you all, and then now I can't find it, but I have the stamp, so I just cut it by hand, and the die, and then my new book. No, these are, these are little uh, gems that I colored with my um, alcohol markers. And this, if you recall, this was an embellishment I made several months ago. So I decided to use it on this card. And I had a, a group of these dies. So that's how I made this banner. And the dark indigo. Island Indigo. I figured that's the closest color. Celebrating today with you. And I flagged the ends of that. Now this, this was a little more labor intensive. But it was fun. This was a kit. A set that I bought. I think this was one of the first sets I bought, actually. It's from Sizzix. And it's a window die. And then it's got all the little stamps, the bugs, and the just different little goodies there. And then I also have a Hero Arts stamp set. So I cut the frame out in white, and then I cut each of the individual pieces. And then this is a bow. I think I bought this at Daiso. And again here. This turned out, I don't know where it got the smudge 
but I tr used Wink of Stell on that. And then I just stamped from that one Hero Art set. Thank you for being you. I used the frame that I had left over and the rose die. And last but not least, you're always in my heart. This was one of the ones that I had left over from when I had that special die. And then I used the rose there. Now I did have a lot left over. But I'm not the only one. <laughs> they kind of get sick of the pad after a while. So I made quite a few last time sympathy cards. And then I made like 15 here. So that's quite a few cards from one pad. And like I said, I do have a lot of leftovers. There are several other collaborators that are joining in. So they are down in the description box below. Please check them out and see what they made. Thank you again so much for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.